twenty dollars to take a photo in baby it's not even with a professional fucking camera we'll take a sweep snap from your mobile device are you fucking kidding me what is wrong with these people hey guys i was about to go to bed until i saw that the supernatural uh, convention is coming to vancouver on october 1st to october 3rd and i've always known that the admissions to these things has been absurd but this is absolutely moronic now i understand that supernatural is its own convention it's its own thing so technically speaking it's not like a comic book convention where they can make profit from all these different vendors and basically the guy's getting a haul to themselves for three days and vancouver and rental space is expensive but you've got to be fucking kidding me when the gold package I'll admit, yeah, there's a lot that comes with it. The first row seating was 1750 US. To put that in retrospective, that's $2,192 Canadian as of right now of recording this video. And even if I say that it's that number, you still have to add a little bit more of a percentage on when you withdraw that much money from the bank. So technically speaking, really, a gold package ticket could be something on like $2,300. They're non-refundable, which how the fuck can you do something that huge for non-refundable? And then the, the cherry, the goddamn cherry on top of all of this, I just saw, is this complimentary fo uh, autograph thing. If you want in-person autographs from Jensen and Jared, this is one of your only chances. Due to time constraints, Jared and Jensen only will be signing autographs by the gold and silver weekend package holders. What the absolute shit? I've heard that there has been a lot of flack against creation entertainment for years but they've been able to get away with it because oh, there's a very large amount of absolute loony supernatural fans oh yeah one of the comments i saw on facebook was it's so expensive that the weekend the weekend so just two days for me my daughter all inclusive is almost two months pay I don't know how it is for you guys in terms of how money is, but for us, the minimum wage out here is $15. It took a long time to get here, about like $15.20, and it's still way too low in terms of our living accommodations. If you looked up Vancouver's cost to living ratio, we are one of the worst in the world. There's houses, piece of shit houses in downtown Vancouver, like abandoned homes that are very small very small two floor houses that are being sold for something upwards to 1.8 to 2 million dollars our real estate out here is absolutely fucked back onto the whole convention thing this is why you will never see me at one of these i don't know if i would ever be willing to go to any of them general admission one is 339 dollars us but it gives you nothing. How much are the photo ops? Oh my god, I, I, I gotta check. Jensen and Jared are only available for photos on the Sunday. And they're both 200 US each. Ugh. How can you actually charge this much? Admittedly, that's also how it is for... Um, for normal conventions it's how like you you pay to get in and then you pay the on top for the autographs and whatnot that's normal though and also it's not an absolute nightmare to just to go in and get one of these done that is my little rant about it if you guys have seen this i, I imagine for those of you who have gone and you've like had a good time i know i talked with jade about that uh and i really enjoyed her kind of her videos about the, the convention that she went to but she even said that it cost her a lot of money to go to one of these things and so i just can't warrant the idea of paying that much money to go on one of these it's it's absurd i just can't do that but anyways those are my two cents about it um i've raged on enough hope you guys are having a good day and tell me what you guys think if you guys been to one of these cons before could you see yourself paying paying that much money to meet these guys it's got to be it's absurd for people who worked on the show i'm like i saw these guys every day and people are paying absolute absurd money to 
to see them in person but that's how fandoms can be anyways guys that's all for me if you like the video leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next time